Meet the Hawker Hurricane Mark 12A and its 1400 horsepower Packard Merlin 29. This particular aircraft belongs to the Flying Heritage Collection at Payne Field in Everett, Washington. Being a Mark 12, it was originally manufactured in Canada and was delivered to the Royal Canadian Air Force on January 22, 1942. However, it did not see combat and was eventually recovered from a farm in Ontario, Canada. The story of the Hawker Hurricane begins in 1934 when Hawker designer Sidney Cam began work on a new aircraft to meet the needs of an Air Ministry specification for a fighter aircraft to be built around the new Rolls-Royce engine, then known as the PV-12. Later, this engine would become known as the Merlin. The original plans were actually rejected by the Air Ministry, after which Sidney Cam threw away the drawings and started over. This new design took into account the condition of the economy at the time and utilized as many tools and jigs already in use for other aircraft as possible. This, in part, helped contribute to the great success of the Hurricane. It is important to realize that at this time, designing an aircraft with one wing was cutting-edge technology, as the Royal Air Force consisted almost entirely of biplane fighters and bombers, such as the Hawker Fury and Hardy. The Hurricane was an aircraft that helped bridge the gap between biplanes and monoplanes. This new Fury monoplane design featured retractable landing gear and was soon known as the Interceptor monoplane. By May 1934, plans had already been completed in detail. The aircraft had its maiden flight November 6, 1935. Though the Hurricane was faster and much more advanced than the RAF's current biplane fighters, its design was already outdated. It used traditional Hawker construction techniques from previous biplane aircraft with mechanically fastened rather than welded joints. It had a worn girder type fuselage of high tensile steel tubes over which sat frames and longerons that carried the fabric covering. The advantage to this design, later discovered, was that anti-aircraft shells would simply pass right through the skin of the aircraft without exploding or causing severe structural damage. Even if a shell did cause wood or steel framework damage, it could be easily repaired at the field by a crew chief. Overshadowed by the graceful Supermarine Spitfire, it was the Hurricane that contributed 60% of the RAF's aerial victories during the battle. Through continued development, there were many versions of the Hurricane, including interceptor fighters, fighter bombers, and ground support aircraft. Other versions include the Sea Hurricane, which enabled operation from ships, and catapult-launched convoy escorts known as Hurricats. The Hurricane Mark 12A features an armament of eight 303 inch machine guns in the wings and features a maximum speed of 340 miles per hour, a range of 600 miles, and a service ceiling of 36,000 feet. Though 14,500 Hurricanes were originally built, this aircraft at Flying Heritage Collection is one of only 12 still flying today.